What are children? How is the day going? Yeah, I hope you have a great fun with your family. Hmm? That's what we have dealt with the, in the last lesson, isn't it? Yeah. So now we have got time to move out of our house and think about the people around us, right? And uh, that is what we call our neighborhood. So what are there in our neighborhood? For example, uh, it's a road and uh, yeah, there's another road this way. Okay, and uh, imagine we stay here. Okay, this is my home. Right? So there are a lot of people living around us, isn't it? So there may be another home here, and the home can be here. Here there are homes, isn't it? Huh? So these homes, these homes and the people, they form our neighbors. So who are neighbors? Neighbors are the people who live around us, nearby us, next to us. Okay? So the people who live around us is known as our neighbors and this all together, our, our home along with the other homes around us, together this make a community. Okay? We along with our neighbors together make a community. Okay? So if there is any anything that is happening over here, all the people will think about it together. For example, like, uh, yeah, we have a festival called uh, Vinayaka Chauti, no? We have a festival called Vinayaka Chauti. If all the people over here think in the same way, then they will have an idol of a Lord Vinayaka kept there and they do the pujas there. Okay, so that is how the community works. Or if there is a dumping point here where all the waste and everything is dumped everywhere. Right? So it's not just the problem of this home or this home, but the entire community will respond to that. Okay? So anybody in this community can make a call to the authorities. Please come and remove these waste from here. Okay? So, a community is a group of houses and the people over there together. Right? So the neighborhoods together makes a community. Communities are very important because they together take the decisions if there is something which is yeah, about the entire, the total area over there. Okay? Now, sometimes what happens is, you know, new people will come to our place. Okay, so imagine this is my home and this house was without any people over there for a while and now a new person is coming over there. A new, a new family came into this. So it's our neighborhood, they are our neighbors. So how should we deal with them? Should we be angry that some people are coming over here? No. We should be happy. Okay. So maybe that they were working somewhere else. Now the person they have got a transfer or something like that. A change in the job or so. So they came over here. Now if there is any program or a function or something like that in your family. They will come for you. Or imagine. Uh. Yeah, you went to school, 
your parents went somewhere like uh, they had some work to go out or uh, they went to meet your grandparents or they went to attend a function okay but unfortunately what happened was that they got late they couldn't come back on time when you came back from your uh, school you found your home locked what will you do the gate is locked you cannot go inside and you are hungry too but see the lady or a boy or so from this family they will come out and they will ask you to come to their home because your mother knows it very well that when you come back from school you will be very hungry usually what she does is she will get something ready there na? something some biscuits or chips or some chocolate or some fruits some juice or milk something will be there and as soon as we come back from the school we will throw the things away and we go and have it first and then isn't it but today what happened your mother is not there you are hungry you do not know when she will be back but as your mother knows this thing she might have made a call to your neighbors it cannot may be this any of the neighborhood so they will come there they will call you they will take you to their home they will make you comfortable they may give you a packet of biscuit or so or they may make a call to your mother and you can speak to her and she will be saying okay where well, my son i'm coming and we are on the way we will be there very soon is it so lot of occasions are there when we may need the help of our neighbor or we may help our neighbor also if somebody in the neighborhood is sick and if they do not have a vehicle we have a vehicle we will take them to hospital is it right yeah so this is how the neighborhood has to be when there is a festival like diwali or something like that or holi na huh? all the people over here will come out and celebrate it na huh? is it that you will celebrate you celebrate holi in your home you apply colors on your father mother and your brother or sister and they apply it on you nobody else is coming inside is it so no we go out the other kids in this community will come to the come to you you will play with the colors and all isn't it during diwali they also will come out you all together will crack a lot of crackers you all will have fun when you have birthday when you have your birthday you will call all these people together and all the people in the community will come to your home to celebrate your birthday huh? imagine you are always angry you always quarrel with your neighbors and uh, during your birthday you went and invited them but nobody came why because you always quarrel with them will it be happy for you if they do not come no. okay so we should when we live in a community we should live happy okay as just we take care of our family we should take care of our neighbors also means we should not throw the dust into their place we should not quarrel with them we should not cause any kind of inconvenience for them okay because as we live over here they are also living there right so community and the neighbors now other than this people who live over there there are some other things also other places also okay for example uh, in the morning in the morning we have a habit of drinking milk isn't it so from where does he, we get the milk yeah there is a shop in this corner there is a shop in this corner either our father or sometimes even we it's not there is a problem in that okay we can go to the shop and get the milk no problem so we we'll come here and we get the milk so this is a milk booth right or uh, if you have a uh, lost
lost your pencil. You do not have any pencil. On the way going to your school, there is a shop here. In this corner, there is a big shop. They sell all these kinds of books, pens, pencils, sharpeners, erasers, chart sheets, papers, everything. Okay, and that is called a stationery shop. Isn't it? Sometimes uh, we may eat uh, non-vegetarian food also. No? We love chicken or mutton or beef. Huh? So on the other side of the road, there is a big market and the part of a market, we have a, a butcher shop. Isn't it? Or if we want some vegetables, uh, we will go for here, no? market and if we like to eat some fruits like apples or mangoes or uh, so season for now, sapota or uh, banana, where do we go? Yeah, there will be fruit sellers, isn't it? There will be fruit sellers. Now, it's a birthday. It's a birthday, so you need to buy chocolates, na? You need to buy chocolates to be distributed among your friends in the school, in the classroom. Then uh, you need to buy a cake to cut in the evening. And then some sweet and hot we have to distribute for all those who come to celebrate our birthday. And some drinks also. Isn't it? Some soft drinks. So where do we buy all these things? Yeah, there is another shop called a bakery. Isn't it? Huh? The chocolates, the cakes, the sweets, the hots and all these kinds of things are sold in a bakery. Then uh, if you are ill, if you are ill, uh, the doctor asks you to get some medicine. So where do we get the medicine? So where do we get the medicines? Yeah, we get medicines from a medical store, isn't it? We get medicines from a medical store and uh, uh, think we have a pet and we keep it in a kennel, a dog, we keep that in a kennel and uh, think that it's a door for damage and uh, we call the carpenter, the carpenter came and he said that he needs some, uh, uh, you know, nails, some nails so that he can fix it okay so where do we get uh, nails and uh, the, you know uh, the wood uh, things with which we work on wood hmm? yeah so there is another thing called a hardware shop okay so we get the nails hammers and all these kinds of things from a hardware shop and if you want to buy any of these things, we need money, is it? Where do we get that money from? Yeah, we open account and we give the money in a bank, is it? Yeah. So a market, a fruit seller, a butcher shop, bank, stationery shop, medical store, bakery, hardware shop milk booth, all these types of things are part of our neighborhood. Okay, so the neighborhood is not just the people who live around us, right? Neighborhood is not just the people who live around us, but it has all these kinds of things as well. The different kinds of shops which provide us with the services, right? So. Uh, the community is a place where all these people live together and a community always near the help of these people. We cannot live without eating. No? We cannot live without eating. And when we want to eat something, we need to buy things. And who provides us with those things? Are oh, these sheep, or oh, there's a shop owners, are the people, or oh, there's a shopkeepers, are the people who provide us with these facilities and uh, we buy them and use it. Okay, so the entire thing together is known as our neighborhood. Clear? 
Now, how can we take care of our neighborhood? How can we take care of our neighborhood? The first and foremost thing is we should help each other. We are seen here, na? When we come late, uh, when we got home from the school, and when our parents got late, the neighbors help us, huh? And when we are on to the school, and if we do not have a pencil or a book with us, we buy it from a. They keep they keep these things ready for us. So that's a kind of help that they do. Okay. The second and most important thing is. We should help each other to keep it clean. If we have any kind of waste or dust or those kinds of things, what do we do? We sweep our home, we make it clean, and we dump the waste in the dustbin. We should keep or we should put the entire waste in a dustbin, right? So the municipality, the panchayat, the people will keep always keep a dustbin there. Okay, we have to throw in that only. Imagine we went to a shop and we bought some chocolates. So we ate the chocolate and then the wrapper is there. Isn't it? So what do we do with this wrapper? We have to throw it. Where should we throw it? Where should we throw it? Is it good for us to throw that wrapper in front of the shop? Or on the road? Is it good? Not at all good. Okay, so what we need to do is, so as to keep our surroundings neat and clean, we need to keep them in the dustbin itself. It's not just the chocolate, when we buy some pens or pencils also, there will be plastic covering on that. So we remove it and then throw it in the dustbin. Right? So as we keep our home neat and clean, all these surrounding areas has to be kept neat and clean. Right? Then, uh, we should not do anything disturbing others. For example, we are here in the home and uh, we know there is a small baby in the next house. Is it good for us to shout like anything in the, uh, from our house? Even if there is no small baby there, we should not disturb others. Huh? When we play, we should not throw things into them. And we should not throw the waste and all these kinds of things into somebody else's compound. Right? Then we should creep our neighborhood green. So there will be some open areas here. Na? The open areas are here. So these open areas has to be covered with the plants. Na? We should remove all the unwanted plants from there and we can uh, you know, plant some beautiful flower bearing uh, plants over there. Right? If there are some wild plants growing there, they can be you know, things like the animals like the snakes and rats and all these kinds of things will be there and that adds to the danger. Sometimes even dogs will get into that and they will live there. It's dangerous. Isn't it? So any such open area has to be taken care of. If we come forward, we will definitely get the help of the community to develop those open areas into a beautiful garden with a lot of flowering plants, right? And whenever we come to know that somebody in that area, in our neighborhood, in our community needs some help, we should help them. Definitely, we have to help them. Okay, so these are the ways by which we keep our neighborhood neat and how we take care of it. See, we should help each other. We should keep our neighborhood clean. We must not disturb others. We should make our neighborhood green by growing green plants. And whenever there is a need, we should help each other, others. Right? So that's for the lesson. And uh, now we will go on to the exercise part.